A young Rhode Island woman who barely survived after being struck by a drunk driver reunites with the doctor responsible for saving her life. Eyewitness News reporter Shantae Lance is in our newsroom with details that are new at 5. Sylvia Bogu says she's doing much better. Today she met with one of the trauma doctors responsible for keeping her alive. How are you? It's been years since they've seen each other. How you been? But Sylvia Bogush and emergency trauma surgeon Charles Adams share a special bond. Back in 2007, at just 17 years old, Bogush says a flat tire and an encounter with a drunk driver nearly ended her life. I went outside of my car because I was taught that to like go outside of the car and then the drunk driver hit me. Waking up from her coma is all Bogush remembers, but Dr. Charles Adams recalls a whole lot more. I took care of her in the ICU, uh, and she was really very close to death. Uh, in fact, she was so severely injured and in such extremis that I actually talked to her mom and dad at that point and said that I didn't think she was going to survive. One of the toughest things he's ever had to do. Sylvia was a young girl, and I have daughters, and in some ways trying to keep myself compartmentalized so that I could actually function as a physician and talk to her parents. Uh, was somewhat difficult. Eight surgeries and countless physical therapy sessions later, Sylvia is well. It was really hard to, to like um, do everything with my right hand, uh, left hand. But to Dr. Adams, Bogush is the real hero. To see her finally get better and leave the hospital was really, in some ways, nothing short of a miracle. I'm grateful to, to have met him and to have him take care of me um, because I guess without him, I wouldn't be here. Now, while Dr. Adams says her case is extreme, it's an example of how the hospital saves lives every day. Reporting in the newsroom, Shantae Lance, Eyewitness News.